and number one in our list is what let's see hold on control and click well guys not clicking let me just manually go to number one all right so number one is call up function help and using m intellisense mm, call up function help so let's assume you don't know the function you want to use let me just go to a blank query how do i get a list of functions i don't know the function i want to use so if you go to a blank query you simply type equals to you type your hash key and you type shared yeah equals to hash key shared now i don't know why they called it shared they should have just called it equals hash key power query functions or something shared anyway when i enter you will see a list of everything power query i mean all the functions are there see the nice list of functions all sorts of stuff so really if you want to see this as a table let's let's into, into a convert it into a table yeah so i convert it into a table and if i was in excel i could just load this into excel and you see all the list of functions but really why i did that is if you click on any one of this you would see the explanation of that function really so let's pick something let's do let's come here and do a list we're going to look for a function called list dates it's going to list uh, dates so i'm just typing list there dot maybe dates so here this is this is the function i want to see this one so click ok so this list days i'm just going to click on the function button here so this is the function so i just click on the function button it explains what the function does you can read everything about it here so let's create a a list of dates right i want to create a list of dates typically you click on this button to say what is your start when are you starting what are you starting so let's assume I want to start on the first. Now look at this. The input value 1 September did not pass using local English United Kingdom and short date format DMMMYYY. Hmm. Now what this is telling you, this is quite annoying. This is saying that the way I'm writing my date, the computer basically knows it as United Kingdom dates. But this system is looking for uh this button here is looking for an american date so i just i just have to manually type um let's say one slash nine slash 2018 now for most of most of you to work fine but for me it's not working fine because i'm using the uk dating system my uk date if i go to my control panel uh, you'll see that my date is uk but i won't go into that it's looking for a US dating system. But anyway, 1-9-2018 is my computer's dating system. Count, uh, let's say we want to start, let's say I just want 30 days, right? 30 days. And then um, my step is one day each. So 30 days, starting from 1st of January, give me 30 days, one day per interval. Say so, okay. So see what it does. It gives me 1st of September to the end. How did I know that? Because I went to look for a list of functions. I wanted a list of dates and you see now I have a list of dates. I can now convert this to a table by coming to the top left and saying to a table. So now this, you can just ignore this and say OK. So this is now a table. I can double click this heading and say this is my date. I enter. And then I can convert this to a data type of dates instead of any I call party to date and I'm in business. So this is my date and I can close. Let me not close and load, close and apply. I'll just apply what I've just done. Let's call this a date list or, well, I've converted it to a table. So it's not really a list, but anyway, date table, right? So date table. So you get the idea, but really we got this by using um, uh, function we, we identified uh, we had a, a list of functions or something list functions yeah that was our first trick so i enter 